Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to all my new subscribers as well. Thank you for being here. Um, and thank you for your lovely comments. The people that have been coming in, um, love hearing from you lot. So today we're gonna be doing um, what would a tarot reader tell them about you, okay? So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, so group one, we have the assistance card. Group two, we have the manifest card. Group three, we have simplicity. Okay, so don't forget these are energies as well. And you know, if it doesn't resonate with you, choose another pile. Um, I'll see you there. Hey, group one. So if you chose assistance with this card, a tarot reader will tell them about you is that you are somebody. Okay, group one who is so helpful very giving okay so if anybody needs assistance you would drop it and you would be there for them but there is a bit of pride that gets in the way with you guys okay so when it comes to people wanting to help you your pride gets in the way you'd rather do it yourself than let someone help you so you're a very giving person but you feel like you don't deserve to be given to okay so that's what a tarot reader would tell them about you from that card so let's have a look. So Spirit, tell me please, what will a tarot reader tell group? Hang on, let me phrase this properly. For frick's sake, honestly, I tell you, going through menopause really don't help. Um, so what would a tarot reader tell them about group one? There you go, got it. <laughs> what? There you go. So we've got the two of wands. So what would a tarot reader please spirit tell this person about group one? Knight of Wands. The Wheel. The Eight of Wands. The Fool. Hmm. Okay, I'm just looking okay. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't drink frizzy drinks. So you, right, okay, the tarot reader will tell this person that you are somebody that likes to plan things out, okay? You like to travel as well, so you like to see the world, group one. Um, But you are a planner, okay? You're not one that just... I, I don't know though, you are a planner, but then there's another side of you here that literally can be so spontaneous at times that you just, not reckless, spontaneous is what I'm seeing here, okay, that you will, I don't know, you just get this urge and then you will do it, you know, without the planning, so there is a planning side, a cautious side to you as well as a bit of a reckless side to you as well, okay, there's also here that I'm seeing that the tarot reader will tell this person that you are someone that is um, very fiery, okay, very passionate. When you set your mind to something, that's it, there's just no stopping you. You are, yeah, you, you, you're into travel here, but you're also someone who is very free-spirited. So if they were to try, the tarot reader would tell them, if you're planning on trying to lock down group one or to clip their wings, don't even think about it because it's not going to happen, okay? You can't do that to a free-spirit person here, okay? There would be a warning from the tarot reader as well to this person that um, because you are the certain person you are, okay, so you could be protected by spirit, they need to be very careful because if you were to hurt group one, you will receive some kind of karma. So you, group one, don't need to actually do anything to these people. Spirit will take over and they will receive bad karma for it, for whatever they do to you here. And you also bring a lot of joy into people's lives as well. Like you're very lively, you know. You're you're someone who gets noticed. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, you're an action taker, you are. You're someone that when you want something, you literally just go for it. Because we've got the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands here as well. And it could also be, I mean, this may be irrelevant, but from what I'm seeing here, the tarot reader will tell this person that you actually like communication. You like to talk. You like having meaningful talks, okay? Yeah, you're someone who takes chances with the fool here. You just, you're not scared of anything here. And that could be the fire sign. You could be a fire sign. We've got Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. So let's find out more what they would say. <clears throat> so what more would the tarot reader tell this person about group one? The hermit. You're someone who they would tell that this person that you are someone that sometimes would go within. Um, so you like to be alone at times, okay? You like the solitude. So you could have a, a personality of being an introvert as well as an extrovert, you know? I've got that personality. I have my moments where I'm very introverted and then I can be very extroverted, if you know what I mean. So I'm picking up that with you guys. So we've got Virgo energy, we've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Okay, right. Okay, so the, the tarot reader would also tell this person that you've been on your own for a long time, okay? You've uh, maybe stayed off the dating scene for a while. And the reason being is that you may have dealt with someone who was a narcissist here, okay? Someone that could maybe have been a bit of you know, may have been abusive towards you verbally, that kind of thing. You've had your heart broken. So, you know, you're... Um, oh, get it out. So you could have been in a long-term commitment with someone here and, you know, things ended, but you've taken time out to find yourself again here, okay? It's like you're putting yourself first. But like I said at the beginning, you will... If anybody needed you, you will drop everything to help this anybody. You know, you are a giver. And I feel like that's why there was a warning there about because you are of light, okay, group one. Spirit would take offence to someone mistreating you here, okay. And you walked away from a long-term commitment here with somebody. You had to leave it behind because this person was not, not good for you. They were, were abusive, okay. Right, so whoever would be inquiring about you as well, there would be a warning here with in regards to them if they're interested in you, is the fact that they need to be a bit wary because you've been hurt here with these three cards here. You may end up rejecting this person, so you're going to have a wall up, okay? You're going to be very wary about whether you want to trust this person or not. So they're going to have to break down these walls because I feel like if you were dealing with a narcissist or somebody that was very controlling towards you, group one, this person clipped your wings and now you've found that freedom and it's like you don't want to give that up to anybody else. So there's this trust. They need to gain your trust here. Okay, like this. <clears throat> So tell me more, what did Tara read to tell them about group one? The world, the king of wands. Yeah, they would tell this person that you are someone of courage, okay? You are like a leader. You stand up for what is right. 
and you're in this energy now of I'm not being pushed around by nobody it's so like standing in your power here and then we have the world as well you are somebody that would cut off people who mistreat you now you've learnt your lessons here okay but I do I would say this tarried or tell this person that you've paid your karmic debts now I feel like you are free of karma here so you would cut off anybody here that was mistreating you now and also it could be the tarot reader would tell them that you may work from home you know something online you could work with computers or you travel a lot and I did say travel at the beginning here so you could travel for work or you just like traveling it's like you've got this freedom about you now you know since you got away from this king of swords here so we've got strong fire sign in this reading okay So tell us more, what would this tarot tell us about group one? Look at this, Ace of Pentacles. You know, you've had a lot of ups and downs in your life with the tower, okay? And you've had to start over. You've had, you know, devastation and setbacks and letdowns and, you know, you've gone through it all. And there's this big change in you. And that had to happen, you know, for your sake. Now you are doing so well for yourself. You you started again here. And I feel like this is why the tarot reader will tell this person that you need to break down these walls. Because this group one here would not want to give up their power or their, I don't know, their freedom. And this is what it literally it keeps repeating here to whoever it was that would actually look into you through a tarot reader. You know, you are doing so well for yourself. You know, work is paying you well. You've had to move away. You've had to start again. You know, it may have been that you um, may have had to buy a new property here. And if they can break down your walls here, obviously with that the controlling side of things and treat you with respect and being an equal... There is every possibility that you would give them a chance here with the Ace of Pentacles. Tell us more for group one, please, Spirit. Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands, look at this. The Moon. <laughs> So, you know, the tarot reader would tell them there is a chance of you two being together because we do have the king and queen of wands here, which is a couple, and you would be like a power couple. And I feel like they, whoever this is that was looking into you here, I don't feel like this person would be like the king of swords here. They are your equal, okay? You two would really, like, bounce off of each other here. They would all, look, we've got the business card here. So you are someone, Spirit would tell them that you are very valuable to the spiritual world. You know, your your ancestors and your spirit guides. And so I said at the beginning, you are very valuable. And I do believe that this person, whoever they are, would notice this anyway. You're very humble. You're very giving. You're coming out as such a strong energy here, group one, okay? You're like very, very strong, but I feel like it's only because of what you've gone through in life. And there's going to be respect here for you, whoever this is, because of, you know, who you are, how far you've come. They would also tell this person... Do not push things with group one here. They are full of secrets, full of emotions, okay? They may hide their feelings for you at the beginning. You've just got to wait until group one trusts you enough to let you in. So the moon is all about secrets, hidden feelings, hidden emotions. So at first I feel like they would tell this person that you will be like a mystery to them. You will be holding back. And I did say that anyway. So you're not a type of person that will let anybody in now. That you have to gain their trust now. 
So let's see what advice is. Okay, so what advice would you, uh, would Spirit give to this person that's having the tarot reading for group one? What advice would be given to them? You know, because I usually ask advice for you guys, but this is for this person. Chariot. What advice would this person be given by the tarot readers, please, Spirit? Knight of Pentacles. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Ace of Cups. <laughs> right. Spirit's advice to this person would be, you want to go rushing in, okay? You want to take action. You want to go at full speed ahead, okay? Because the chariot is like a car, but it's also an action card. So we've got um, Cancer Energy here. We've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Um, so, yeah, you want to go full steam ahead, but Spirit is saying, uh-uh. You, the advice to you is please take your time with this person. Tread carefully. Think things through first and just take your time. It may take a long time to break the walls down a group one, but eventually this person will trust you and you've got the Ace of Cups here. The Ace of Cups is all about love, marriage, commitment, okay? This, they, they would tell this person that even though it doesn't seem like it right now that, that group one wants a relationship with you or any kind of commitment, this person really does want to give it a go again but they're just holding back you know because of trust because of what happened to group one in the past with this energy here of the king of swords so let's have a look okay that was really good so i'm going to get these tarot cards as well so what would tarot to tell this person about group one i like these tarot cards because they have like words on them and you know means to them not that i use them regularly so what would they tell them about group one okay let me get a card spirit magician which no that's the high priestess i swear i saw the magician earlier but anyway so they would be told that magic is alive in your life what you need to be a success will manifest if you believe it you can do it so they would say that you know to the person that <clears throat> you are someone that is um very capable of manifesting things you know and it could be that you manifested this person into your life without even realizing it this person is manifesting you even though they've they've got to know you and stuff but they really do want you in your in their life here yeah i believe you are someone who is very um gifted so you guys could work in the health profession, you know, or just somewhere along those lines of that you're just very giving, okay, that you assist people. And then we've got children. So children of childhood revisiting old dreams of plans, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from the past, romance, romanticising how things used to be. But this could be a warning to this person because... You know, you could have children, so you've got to protect your children, okay? And they've got to be mindful of that when they're they're in a relationship with you, okay? Because you've already got your little family. Um, so, you know, they, they have to know that your family comes first. Also could be that you're still holding on to the past, okay? You're still holding on to the pain of what this person has done to you. So, you know, that's always going to be there, that you can't you can't just dismiss pain, so there is a little bit of a warning here as well. But the tarot reader will tell this person that you can now build memories, good memories with group one, you know. And then we have one, which is the page of cups. A beautiful new emotional experience. Or is it the ace of cups? A beautiful emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening for psychic but, uh, abilities and spiritual insights, a love letter, a new home, notice the page of cups. 
So, so this is the thing. When I said at the beginning that you like to talk, you like to have like meaningful conversations here. And I feel like what the tarot reader is going to tell this person that if you want to want to get to know group one, you need to maybe become friends first. So then it turns into something deeper and meaningful here. OK, and um, the tarot reader may also tell this person to be a bit wary because you are somebody that has a gift here that can, you know, sense when something's not right. We do have the high priestess underneath the Ace of Cups. So you guys are gifted, okay? There's something about you here. That's why I feel like when I said about if people hurt you, you are their karma and spirit will end up doing something to them for hurting you. You know, I'm getting that from that here. Then we've got the Four of Cups again. Failing to recognise a magical opportunity, missing the point, the distractions of daily life, discontentment or boredom, lost in your own world, wake up. So... Maybe like, you know, the tarot reader will tell this person that maybe you've gone on a few dates and they're just so dull and boring. I know they <laughs> do get people like that, you know, that just keep fall asleep. Um, and you've just not met your equal yet. And the tarot reader will tell this person you are group one's equal here, but you've just got to play it in a way that's um, not play it. That's wrong. Not play it. Um, you've just got to be mindful of what group one's been through and be patient you know the knight of pentacles is all about patient and take patience and taking your time so let me have a look um yeah let me i don't know why i picked these up but let's have a look so what would this yeah here we go so flirt extend your light hard hearted energy to others so this tarot reader will tell this person to just flirt be light hearted about you know getting group one to open up a bit here honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so it could be that you two may end up friends first you may meet on holiday you know or you may have that in common where you like to travel could even be venice it is safe for you to love open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all so spirit you know, as well as the tarot readers telling this person it is safe for you to love group one. Look, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. So Spirit is saying it's all about timing to this person here. Um, and you, group one, the tarot reader will tell this person you are worth waiting for. Okay? Like I keep saying, something special about you guys. And I don't say that lightly. <laughs> so let's see what else tarot reader would tell this person about group one unicorn infinite 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 possibilities infinite possibilities there you go you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds the magic of love surrounds you beauty transforms you listen to the spirits of light abandon the darkness go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary now this is what i'm saying there's something very magical about you guys something very spiritual um i said you were were of light okay so the tarot reader would tell this person just to be you know a word of warning don't mess with group one okay <laughs> Let's get one more. No, Spirit. I said one more. Okay, I'm going to take that. That's just literally jumped out at me because I said something about freedom here. You've got horse freedom. Your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited res reserves of stagma... Stamina. Stamina. What is that? Stam stamina and strength you follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams this is the thing do not clip your wings is what the tarot reader would say because you are pure of light i've said this you are somebody who loves freedom and you're very very strong as well 
So group one, I'm going to leave it there. It was really positive, actually, you know. Nothing negative came out about you guys. <laughs> That's what the others say. But anyway, so group one, if you like this reading, please hit like. I appreciate you all. Much love, guys. Hey, group two. So if you chose manifest with this card, the tarot reader will tell this person that you are somebody and not meaning this in a in a crappy way. But you are someone that things tend to fall at your feet, okay? That you are someone who can manifest without even trying, you know? You are someone who is very powerful, gifted. Um, also could be telling this person that you have been manifesting them as well as them manifesting you, okay? So let's have a look at what the tarot reader would say. So tell me, Spirit, what would the a tarot reader tell group? Group two, oh god, oh, I lost it again for God's sake. So, what would a tarot reader say about group two? Okay. Straight away, good card. What would this person be told about group two by a tarot reader? Six, six. Hmm. What would. To tell this person about group two, okay. Knight of Wands, Death, the Lovers, <laughs> okay. The Moon, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Lovers, okay. They would tell this person that you are their twin flame, okay? Because that is the twin flame card right there, okay? This will bring clarity to this person that's inquiring about you because maybe they feel a bit confused that they've got this connection with you here. This could be someone from your past that's having a reading about you, okay? And now they're being made aware and brought some clarity here with the truth that you are their twin flame. And this is the person that you're supposed to be with, okay? Um, they mm, okay you guys could be a boss here because we do have the king of pentacles as well as the six of wands so this could be you being a boss of something you know running your own company um, starting up a little business for yourself here so you're financially abundant and you look after the people that you love okay because we even have the ace of pentacles here this is success this is like i'm seeing just pure abundance here because you know we've got quite a lot of yellow here as well I feel like this is a past person, you know, group two. And I'm sorry to say this. This is somebody that would inquire about you now, okay? Maybe someone that's always had you in the back of their mind and has never really let go of what could have been here. Because of the six of cups that I'm drawn to here. Now, this is nostalgia as well as thinking about the past and the happy memories. And it could have been someone from when you were young, you know, someone that may, you may have known as a friend at school, something like that, okay, and they're just inquiring about you now. This tarot reader would tell them that you, you wasn't very good to group two here, you made the wrong choice when it came to picking somebody else here. Um, they could be telling the group this, this person now that you are actually someone that's in a serious commitment now, okay? That you're married you're very happy content here they also could be telling this person that you group two still have hidden feelings for this person you've tried to let it go okay but every now and again, those feelings will come back as, as, as the saying as what if, what could have been here, okay? Um, but I feel like the tarot reader is, would be telling this person that you made a 
serious mistake here with group two here that you didn't realize at the time that you had someone that was your twin flame and you let this person go this person ended things with you mm. so so i'm i'm getting here that the tarot reader Okay, I'll have to edit that bit in. Um, sorry about that. I don't know whether you noticed anything there, but we had these siren things put on our phones as alerts now to let us know whether we're being under, like we're under attack or weather warnings. And I knew it was going to bloody happen. I knew I should have waited till it was three o'clock. But anyway, <laughs> I'll just edit that out. Actually, I'll get my daughter to edit that out. I hate editing. She's so good at it. But anyway, <laughs> so back to the reading. So, where was I? Hang on, let me see if I set that up right. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I would feel like this tarot reader would be telling this person off, okay? Because they made a big boo-boo when it came to you, number two. <laughs> anyway, so let's have a look. So, what more would the tarot reader tell this person about group two? Hmm. The devil. Okay. Oh, tell me more. What was this tarot reader tell about group two? Okay. Tell me a bit more, please. Justice in reverse. Okay, a little bit of a trigger warning here, okay? I'm not really going to go into detail, but just a little bit of a warning here. What this person would be told about you, group two, is that you are someone that has gone through life being abused by people, being taken advantage of by people, tower. Um, you've dealt with a lot of toxic people in your life, okay? Um, abusive relationships as well. And throughout the, you know, from the last time they saw you, you've had to carry so many, like, problems and burdens from other people, you know, because you seem to be a certain person that tends to attract these type of people. Ooh. You know, they would be told that you've got a lot of responsibilities a lot of stress here you're always on the go here as well you know there's just never a moment for time for yourself basically you know it could be because you're running a home you're running a business um you do you have experienced a lot of tower moments since they last saw you you know devastation You've dealt with a lot of injustice that's happened to you in your life, a lot of karmics that's happened to you in your life as well. So we've got Capricorn energy, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, okay, in this reading, and Leo as well. So this person would be told all this about you here that you've gone through since they last saw you, okay? But you have healed from this or you are healing from this. You are still somebody that even though you've experienced all this in your life, you're still a person of light, okay? You've not let this, you know, okay, it gets you down, but you're still the sun, okay? There's something about you here that, that brings healing energy, as well as happiness to people's lives. So the tarot reader could be telling this person that because you have someone of light, you tend to deal with a lot of karmics, okay? A lot of karmics. Could have been that um, you were in an abusive relationship here of maybe being controlled, um, maybe dealing with a partner here that has addictions here so they're telling this person that your life has not been easy since the last time they saw you okay whether you're in a committed relationship you know married 
financially stable you've gone through a lot of trials and tribulations here so let's have a look so what else would this person be told about group two by tarry the police spirit yeah look soulmate now this person's being told this is you were their soulmate you were their twin flame whatever you want to believe in um here they're, they're being told here as well that you love this person very deeply, you know. You were waiting for this person to offer their cup of love, but obviously they didn't. Tell me more about this Two of Cups. Why would Terry be telling me about the Two of Cups? Talk about the Two of Cups, please, Spirit. you rejected group two look at that magician and manifest so it could be this tarot reader will tell them that you know maybe you are trying to manifest them into their into your life now maybe you would like to hear from them okay but i feel like what this tarot reader would actually tell this person is if this is still affecting you to this day for what you did to group two, it's time to reach out to this person and explain yourself, okay? Bring peace back to group two, you know, because maybe you didn't know about it. And also bring peace to them as well, okay? Um, but they're worried here about whether you would reject them or not whether you would be interested in hearing from them. So there is a bit of fear here. The tarot reader would tell them that you are someone who is exper who is very unfulfilled at the moment, um, that you're not happy. Um, but also the tarot reader is also telling this person that they're unfulfilled as well. So what, let's see what advice the tarot reader would give to, what advice would the tarot reader give to this person in regards to group two? What advice would they give them? Queen of Wands. What advice would they give them? Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Look at this. We have the King and king of wands and queen of wands with the queen of pentacles here but hang on wait a minute because i am seeing what it's saying but i just want to clarify the queen of wands tell me about the queen of wands please spirit leo aries sagittarius taurus Virgo, capricorn yeah yeah Okay, this tarot reader, the advice to them is that you made a mistake, okay? You chose the Queen of Wands over the Queen of Pentacles. They, The tarot reader will say you didn't realise that the person, group two was very valuable, okay? Very abundant, very giving, very caring, very loyal, you know. Um, but you didn't see it. You chose a Jezebel, which is the Queen of Wands, which is the other woman. So this person could have cheated on you, okay, guys? Over the Queen of Pentacles, because you went for the looks, you, you know. Not meaning that you guys are ugly, but, you know, the Queen of Wands, she is very attractive, or very sexy. They use their body, you know. They don't get these energies as well, so that can be a man. But they use their physical appearances, you know. They use sex to get what they want, so... This person was very passionate about the Queen of Wands. And I feel like they lost themselves a bit here. And they chose wrong, okay? They chose wrong. What they really got here was a Queen of Swords. Somebody who is very cold, who's very uncaring at times, can be abusive as well. Can be... Um, malicious and nasty so i feel like they they thought they were getting the queen of wands they were getting the queen of swords here 
So it's like you made your bed, you've got to lie in it now. Because look at you here, being all humble. And then look at her and her. <laughs> so we've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. They've been holding on to this desire for so long for you. Because Harry reader would tell them. They've never let that go. Like I said, they often wonder what could have been. And I, and I don't feel... Maybe the Queen of Wands knows about it. I don't know, but... So I hold you very close to their heart here. It's like this, just this regret here. And I feel like the tarot reader will tell them it's because, like I said, you made your bed, you've got to lie in it now. It's like, what can you do? Because you're stuck with her, this this Queen of Wands here. So what more advice would they give to group, uh, to the person of group two? What would the tarot reader's advice be to them? You know, maybe this person is getting tarot readings about you guys, you know. I'm picking up quite strongly this person is into the occult, you know, into tarot. Oh, okay, we'll take it, whatever. So we have strength in reverse, ten of swords, queen of cups, seven of cups, two of pentacles and the fall and the eight of pentacles. You know, this person doubts themselves every time they, they they think of maybe reaching out to you or, you know, smoothing things over with you or just getting in contact again. They doubt themselves. It's like they hold back because of the, like, obviously the betrayal when it comes to you, but also maybe the betrayal if they, you know, if they do this, it's like stabbing their, their partner in the back here. Um, <clears throat> but it could be this person, you know, maybe um, the tarot reader will tell them that you have to surrender to the fact that you backstabbed group two here, that you betrayed them. You know, just to set that it was a painful ending, you're going to have to let it go. You come out as the Queen of Cups now. They now see that you're someone very beautiful inside and out. And there's just this huge regret here, just huge. I feel like this person, group two, is actually in an abusive relationship themselves, you know, verbally. I feel like it is verbal. Um, there's too many, too many options, too many um, things getting in the way here, you know, partnerships, your partnership, and there would just be It'd be too much for this person to handle. I do pick up this person is quite weak-minded, to be honest. Um, I don't mean that in a horrible way, but I'm just not seeing someone that is uh, very strong at the moment to handle this. And plus, I feel like the tarot reader would tell them to stay back and not disrupt your life because it would. You know, it's just too much hard work. And the thing is, the tarot reader will tell this person that you, you're you just not the type of person to put in the hard work. So, yeah, the tarot reader is telling this person that you've done very well for yourself, okay? You are in a committed relationship here. Um, for some of you, you may be divorced, you know, who, who knows? Because the, 
justice is in reverse that can be divorced um but the tarot readers also told them that you've gone through a lot of pro you know a lot of um crap in your life as well so i feel like the tarot reader would tell them to back off to not bring any more crap into your life that is not you know is not going to do you any good is not going to do them any good so yeah so let's have a look so what more would this tarot reader tell this person about group two there's too many for it get grip so we have the four of wands there you go again you are their twin flame so much to celebrate send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you peace and contentment in your personal life and this is what the tarot reader would have told them at the beginning what i said with the four of wands is that you would have brought so much peace and harmony into this person's life you would have had a lot of happy memories with this person but they did not give you a chance they chose somebody else over you you know you let go of your twin flame here and now you are with somebody i mean you could have gone through all this but now you're settled with somebody group two that is very respectful of you and you do love okay so you're in a in a secure relationship now because i do see that but you have gone through so much crap in your life so the tarot reader would tell them to back off you know, you could be with your twin flame, you know, you can take take what resonates. You may feel like the person you're with now is your twin flame, but it is like the tarot reader would rub this in their face that you let go of someone so valuable. All for sex. You know? The moon. We've got the moon again. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears with relevations that will make everything clear. So, you know, this person has had that epiphany moment. I did say that. You know, this person's hiding feelings for you still. That runs really deep. You may still have feelings for this person. You know, you may have that, that little bit of a... Oh, what's the word? Just a little bit of that affection that you had for this person. Obviously, it may have been love back then, but it's just like, you know, what ifs. That's what I keep hearing, what ifs. What could have been? I think we've all got one of those, though, haven't we? The one that got away. I have done a reading on that. Even I've got one of those, but that was 40, 42 years ago. Um, and I've, you know, every now and again, I will think about that person wonder how they're doing you know and that's what i'm getting from the moon here so yeah there's always that what could have been what ifs you know all that kind of thing let's see what would this tarot reader tell this person about group two okay flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others so they could be telling them that you are someone that likes to flirt you've got this light-hearted energy about you you know but you don't obviously don't overstep those boundaries okay honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so it could be that some of you if you've recently got married you're you know you, you could be on your honeymoon or you've just come back from a honeymoon or you're just in that honeymoon phase with your partner it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So, you know, spirits and this tarot reader is telling them that you are someone that was safe to love. That they should have opened their heart here and they didn't. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your in intermost selves to each other, you your bond deepens. So, I feel like, hmm, because the moon's come out twice, the tarot reader would tell this person that you held back. You did not reveal or show your true self to group two here. So there was a lot of illusions. You know, this person could have gone off and had the queen of wands on the side while giving you false hope, okay? So the tarot reader is saying here, you should have gotten to know group two better, okay? So let's get one of these for you, group two. So 
So we've got giraffe, visionary, rise above earthly matters, glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path, stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. And I said that you are somebody that is, you know, has got such a big heart with the sun here. You know, you, you just bring a lot of happiness to people's lives, whether it doesn't matter what you've gone through. You bring a smile to people's lives here. So it could be that maybe you're intentionally manifesting this person without even realising it. So if you're thinking about them, that is like manifesting, isn't it? So, but I do feel like this person's still in your energy, okay? They've never let go of you. This is what I've said earlier with the four of coins. They still hold on to you, even though their life is a bit of a mess at the moment. So I'm going to leave it there, group two. If you like this video, please hit like. I appreciate you all. Much love, guys. Hey group three, so if you chose simplicity, um, the tarot reader will tell this person that you are someone that has gone through a lot of things in your life, okay? You know, things may have been really hard, you may have dealt with difficult people, um, but you're at this stage in your life where you like things to be a lot more simple, okay? You're also not one of these people, group three, that likes, you know, you're not high maintenance, okay? You like the simple things in life, okay? It brings you happiness, you know those little small things okay um so the tarot reader will tell this person don't bring drama into group three's life because you will put a stop to this because of obviously what you've gone through so let's have a look so what would a tarot reader tell this person about group three please spirit what would they tell this person about group three look at that magician ace of swords yeah you've started clearing out all the rubbish in your life here okay you you're very successful the tarot reader will tell this person you may have had some enlightenment here um to clearing out the baggage if you know what i mean six of materials yeah, you know, because you've had a lot of people in life that were taking from you, you know, never giving back, really. You may have the certain few people that are genuine, but there are people that are users, is what I'm getting here. So this person would be told that you're, you've done away with that now. could also be telling this person that you may have had to go through some kind of surgery here as well um you may have had to start again which i am seeing that for you lot you know starting again or moving jobs here okay i have the nine of wands you yeah look at that i love it this this person would be told, don't mess with group three because this person has their boundaries in place now with anybody that tends to mess with them, okay? And this is what I love about that, seeing that nine of wands there. You will do anything to protect your mental health, you know, your space. Someone, yeah, they would be told that you are someone who is very courageous, okay? You have a lot of courage. We have the Muse of Emotions, which is the King of Cups. It's Cats of Scorpio Pisces. Um, yeah, you're somebody who, when you love, you love hard, okay? You know, but you're very compassionate, okay? Calm and caring, sympathetic, very affectionate. You know, we can go on and on here, all right, about you guys. But you are somebody that is very giving and the tarot reader will tell them don't take advantage of that that giving nature of group three so what else would the tarot reader tell this person about group three ten of wands and the nine of cups in reverse look at this we've got the nine of voices the nine of inspiration and the nine of emotions and if i'm right in thinking with the angel number 999 that is like something that's finally coming to an end, like putting an end to certain things. And I, I just said that. So look up angel number 999. It's like starting again. I'm sure that's what 999 means. Um, I feel like I'm calling 
the police when I say 999. I don't even think that is our number anymore. It used to be. <laughs> it's terrible that I don't even know the police number. <laughs> anyway, ah, there is a button on the phone that you can just press. Anyway, back to the reading. Um, so, yeah, so it could be something that you've done away with, like I said. Because everything that you've gone through, the people that you've dealt with, just it was just like nothing but struggles and people putting their problems on you and just bringing problems on your doorstep when they weren't even your problems. Hmm. Yeah, it just brought a lot of stress, a lot of confusion. You know, the nine of one, uh, the nine of cups in a, in reverse. This tarot reader would tell this person that you've had a lot of shattered dreams, devastation, because the nine of cups is usually a wish fulfillment, but you've experienced maybe a recent devastation here, which has put you in the nine of swords, which is sleepless nights, a lot of exhaustion, a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. And this is what the tarot reader will tell them is that the reason being that you've done away with all these people or situations here is because of this being in this energy here. So tell me more about the nine of one, uh, the nine of cups in reverse. What the tarot reader tell them about this nine of cups in reverse? The sun that you've healed. Okay, you have healed from this. And you're, you're, once again, you know, you feel very happy with the way you've handled things. Yeah, you've healed from this is what they would tell this um, person here. So tell me more what Tarot Reader tell this person about Group 3. Oh, jeez. All right, Spirit. Bloody hell. <laughs> I don't think so. I'll do that again. Tell me what. <laughs> Eight of Wands. Tell me about the eight of wands. Jesus. Nine of materials. Okay, they would tell them that, that, you're, the, <laughs> that you are single at the moment, okay? Um, and you're doing very well. Money is, you know, coming in, it's pouring in, and you're very happy about the success that you've achieved here when it comes to work. It could be that you own your own little business. They're also telling this person that you're loving life right now. You know, you're living your best life. You've got over all this here and you're just feeling really happy. Okay. Um, tell me about the Eight of Wands. Hmm. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. No, Spirit, come on. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. This is a communication card. It's messages, phone calls, you know, or something that's... A, happening very quickly the devil everybody's phone alarms are going off I don't know if you can hear that fucking weird Yeah, they would tell this um, person that, you know, even though this is a message card, it also could be something that's happening very quickly or, you know, things moving very quickly. But Spirit is saying that you don't like the fast pace, okay? You like to take your time here with temperance here. You like, you like, you, you want that peace and harmony to stay where it is okay you don't want no disruption here you don't want the balance you don't want the scales to start tipping in the wrong direction you are someone here that can be very introverted okay you like your alone time you like your peaceful time it could be that you're into yoga or meditation here is what this tarot reader would say so you know you may be at one with nature as well you like to go out into nature here so you know you like a lot of alone time the tarot reader will tell this person that you are someone who is very valuable, okay? Someone that is just someone that you should really get to know. The 
that you're someone who is very humble as well, you know. And then that is that is all about that simplicity card right there. What else would this press? Ace of Cups, Six of Materials again, and we have the Muse of Inspiration, which is the King of Wands. So, you know, you are someone that may want children, okay? They may be telling this person that, you know, you would like to get married and settle down and start a family with someone, but you want it to be equal. You want to share, you know, you know, when you're a couple, you share your ideas, you share your problems, you know, you help each other, you balance each other out. This is what you are looking for in a person here. And this is what the tarot reader would tell them. You are somebody that is very good looking, okay? You know, because the king and queen of wands are very good looking. And um, very confident, strong, you're very friendly, okay? But you're also very loyal and very honest. So we've got Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. Got Sagittarius again, we've got Virgo, we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, so a lot of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, so a lot of water energy and earth energy here, okay? So, yeah, you are somebody that you would be all in, basically. Look at this, three of cups. So, it could be that this tarot reader will tell this person to maybe, um, start going out more with friends that's how they're going to meet you if they're looking for love or something like that you know the one so you know maybe start going out more um start socializing so what else would this tarry to say about group three three of pentacles and the page of wands Ten of Cups, look at that. So like I said, the tarot reader could be telling this per, per, the, this person that when you get invited out, go, because you're going to meet group three here, okay? So it can even be in a work setting as well, so maybe there's like a function or something or a work do, so you may end up meeting this person through work, is what the tarot reader will tell this person, okay? And you're going to have a lot in common here. And when you do meet um group three talk to them here but they also could be telling this person as well that you're going to notice them okay that you're group three you're going to be watching them um studying them you know because i feel like they're going to pique your interest here they're also saying that if they were to do this, it would lead to the Ten of Cups here, happily ever after. You've got the Ace of Cups, you've got the Ten of Cups here. This is, you know, starting a family, getting married, moving in together. It's love, it's commitment. This is very positive. So tell me, Spirit, what would this tarot reader's advice be to this person in regards to Group 3? What would their advice be? Eight of Emotions, which is the Eight of Cups, Three of Wands. So we've got three, three, three as well, guys. Look up that angel number, the Empress, Justice, and the Knight of Emotions. Wow, you come out as the Empress. So what that says, I just want to clarify this eight of emotions. Tell me about the eight of emotions. Okay, okay. This advice to this person from the tarot reader would be you need to leave behind what's happened to you here and don't take it into this connection here with group three. This person was abandoned, okay, rejected, also could have been cheated on because the five of um, wands is um, rivals in love. It could be outside influences, it could be arguments. 
So I feel like with this person here, they experienced a very troubling time with the person they were with and they, they may have been in a connection with this person for a very long time, okay, but they had to leave it behind. Now, I'm looking at these cards here, the way this person is actually walking towards this three of wands here and the three of wands is... So this can be an ex, okay? This is for some of you. This may be for like little some of you, okay? So this can be an ex that may have um, walked away because there was problems in the connection here and they want to come back because they're missing you, okay? But I'm getting more strongly here that this is somebody that's been pining for a connection with somebody here for for that, that love that, that some people never find in, in their lifetime, okay? So it's like they're waiting for the right opportunity here, but the advice to... This person would be, do not drag your past, the past energy into this connection here because you would ruin it because you are dealing with someone who is the empress here, which, you know, divine feminine. Don't forget you can be male as well. Um, and this is someone who is very loving, very loyal, very giving, very nurturing here, who has been through a lot in their life to become the empress here. Um... You could also be a mother or a father as well, so you could have children. I also feel like spirit, like this tarot reader and spirit will be telling this person to maybe be a bit careful here because it could lead to pregnancy as well because we do have the Ace of Cups, we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Empress here, which is pre pregnancy. But it's, it's just, this tarot reader is telling them that you are someone very special here. You know, I don't mess with the, the Empress here with Justice right next to it, you know. And I feel like this person would be told that you need to let the Empress decide whether you are somebody that, that is worthy of her. And I know that sounds really bad, but this is what the Tarot Reader is telling them. So it's like, not that you've got to prove yourself to the Empress, but you just got to show your true self to the Empress, okay? And then she will come to the right decision you know she'll do what's right for her so the advice to this person would be that yes you are going to catch feelings for this person you're going to feel very like you know in awe of the empress here because who isn't and just offer to take this person out you know the empress which is you group three offer to take them out offer to go for a drink for a meal um, but do not push is what spirit is saying and what the tarot reader would say let the empress make the right choice for her or him okay there you go so this person could have noticed you in a function or um you know you may have chatted while you were out or something and they've gone and had a reading about you you know as we all do um just to find out whether that you know maybe because they felt there was something about you here and maybe wanting to just get a bit more information on whether you know that what their next move should be here and this is what they're saying here you know this could even be the person that you're already with but you don't know about them having a reading about you okay yeah but anyway let's get some of these tarot cards here so what else would the tarot to tell this person about group three them about group three please spirit okay can we get a card please oh for goodness sake so what else would they tell them oh, there we go I don't know so we have king of swords yep yeah. Or is it King of Wands? Never bloody tell. Motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious, take a leadership role, step into the spotlight. This is King of Wands. And um, public speaking, keep your eyes on the big picture, communicate your vision, don't be sensitive to criticism. So you came out as the the King of Wands, you did. Yeah. You came out as the King of Wands again. So we've got Libra energy as well, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So you've come out twice. So this is what the tarot reader will tell them about you, that you are someone that could be in the spotlight, okay? That you could be a motivational speaker, someone, you know, that could be what you do with your 
job and you're someone that because I feel like you've gone through so much group three that the tarot reader would tell this person that you're not sensitive to criticism at all you know you're one of these that would you know gladly accept criticism oh, and then we have the king of pentacles which we have the queen of pentacles compassionate accomplished charismatic um, grounded a time of great success financial security and prosperity the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully, a supportive parent and spouse, a good person to work for. So you could meet this person through work, okay? This could be someone at work that's being nosy about you. Um, but this is everything that I've already said about you as a person, that you are someone who's very grounded, very successful, you know, you're very valuable, okay? But you are someone that, that puts boundaries in place, like I said at the beginning, because you just will not have anybody take advantage of you anymore. And good for you, group three. Transformation. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected renovations, breaking free of procrastination, releasing old belief system. Here we go, we've got the tower again, guys. Now said that. You've had to transform your life, get rid of the people in your life that was not doing you any good because I do feel like you were taken advantage of. So let's have a look. What else would this tower reader tell them about group three? So we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yes, you may be someone that they've never... They may have had a type, okay? So the tarot reader will be telling them to keep an open mind because you are someone that is totally opposite to what they're used to. But this is what that's gonna, they're going to find attractive about you, okay? Look at that. I said attractive attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, yeah. Spirit is saying, as well as the tarot reader, that you're going to be attracted to this to group three as well as group three. Like I said, you're going to be watching them. You're going to notice them, Okay? new love wow a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so they're telling them that this can turn into you know this is something new this is something that's you know can turn into the ten of cups the ace of pent uh, the ace of cups this is beautiful i love it so let's get one of these so we've got eagle mystery you are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. Yeah, this is the thing. You've gone on an inner journey here, like I said about the, oh, excuse me, meditation. You know, your connected spirit here. You, you know, I feel like you're in touch with your spiritual side here. Okay, and this is what the tarot reader would tell them here. You've let go of the past. You've let go of people that were toxic, you know. And you're on this journey. And hopefully they can go on this journey with you. So I'm going to leave it there, group three. If you like this reading, please hit like. Um, and you have a lovely Sunday. Much love, guys.